Hi everybody, in this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to make a little saucer to sit underneath the pot and that saucer will catch the water from the pot when it uh, runs through the soil. Alright, so what we need to do is we need to um, copy that, that bottom there and we're going to then extrude that out and shell that. Alright, so let's just say we're sitting here on, on the, the features panel so what we need to do is we need to go over to sketch and then what I need to do is I need to click on the bottom because that's the surface that I am going to uh, extrude out. Okay, And what I want to do is I want to offset entities. Now if you see that this is grayed out that way, that means we haven't opened the sketch. So I just click on sketch first. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to offset that entities. Now what that means is it's going to uh, it's going to take that circle and make it a little bit larger. Offset entities. Now the size that I well you can you can choose the size that you'd like. We need it to be around about ten millimeters bigger, eight millimeters or so bigger. So the drip tray is just going to sit underneath the pot and it just needs a little bit of extra space so that the pot can sit comfortably inside. Eight millimeters, nine millimeters, ten millimeters, something like that. I'll click on OK. All right, so that's been done. Uh, Tick. Yes. Okay. So now I've got that that sketch there that I'm going to use. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go and extrude that. So I'm going to come back here to to features, and I am going to extrude that. Now we've used extrude before. A couple of differences here. All right. First of all, I need to just make sure that uh, we're going in the right direction. All right. Uh, so let's just make sure I'm extruding the right way. I want to go away from the pot. All right, so I want to extrude down, if you like. And it's also quite important that I don't merge the result because the saucer is going to be a different, a different solid. So it's going to be a distinct, separate solid. So I don't want to merge the result. So I'll click on Merge and, and, and remove that, that check there. And look, the, the, the height of the source are 10 millimetres, that's one centimetre, that's around about enough. So we'll click there and that will be OK. All right. So now that's done. The next thing I need to do is I need to uh, shell out that, that saucer. All right. And so to do that, what I will do is I'm on the Features tab. I can click on Shell. Uh, now we're going to make this saucer out of, out, of, out of plastic and so the shell doesn't need to be too thick. Two millimetres is about enough. Let me just zoom in here. So I need to check what surface that I'm going to shell from and that's what I want to do. And now I'll click tick for that. All right. And I've shelled that saucer. And now what I might like to do is just uh, shell top so uh, let me go to shell again and I will shell from the top here two millimeters thick All right and there we have it 